Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm sorry it kind of, you know, took me a little bit longer to do the video. We did get home, but so we just decided to kind of relax a little bit, watch a movie, and let me try to perk up because we left in the middle of the fourth quarter, and I was like, yeah, it is over, and so I just head home, so whatever. So it seems like the Philadelphia didn't do good in scoring. Crazy enough. But though the first half of the um of this game it was, it was like it's just been like a close game and just it was just like like close game. Like I wouldn't say it wouldn't get blow out or anything like that, but it was a close game. Then the second half it was just like all bucks in the third quarter. It's just like they just spread the lead and stuff. And it seems like Philly didn't recover from it, especially for them not having Joe Embiid and Ben Simmons. They had Joe Embiid on Thursday's game, but they didn't have him in today's game, which is kind of weird. And I don't know why. So from what it says on here, he probably was injured. But I don't know. But crazy enough, um, this is probably going to be a quick one because – it seems like they didn't do much, but their bench did a lot. It seems like the 76ers bench, like, like I said, like the highest scoring person from the starting five was no other than Seth Curry, 5'11 from the field, 2 of 5 from 3. Uh, uh, only had 13 points. But then, but then again, he only had like 25 minutes of playing time. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just shocked at Tobias Harris because he probably would have been the number one guy since, like, Joe and Ben were out. So you would have thought he would have been the number one guy and would have done a lot of scoring, but he hasn't. But he was close to a double-double with nine points and nine rebounds, one steal, two blocks, only hit one three. And, yeah, just been horrible from – for a tenth from the field. But like I said, the bench did something. Um Dwight Howard with 12 point 12 rebounds. I'm still surprised he hasn't started for them. Although he was five eight from the field. What is that? Two what is that he had a oh two steals and one block. Yeah, that's um um Jake Milton with 15 points, uh, one steal, one or four from three, six or 16 from the field. Let's see. And Tyrese Maxey had like 15 points, uh, one block, uh, five or 13 from the field, oh, a five from three. And of course, you know, most of them, the rest of them only score itself for Anthony Taller. But yeah, on the other hand, with the Bucks, yeah, like every single person on here at least had a point. Um, see, Chris Milton didn't do very well, though he only played like 20 minutes. He was just 0 for 6 from the field, 0 for 2 from 3. So. Chris Milton wasn't that much of a factor. Um, Giannis with 24 points, 14 rebounds, seven assists, was three away from a triple-double, two steals, one block, uh, one or three from th three, and nine or 12 from the field. Um, River Lopez didn't do that well either. Only two of seven from the field, one to four from three. Uh, only two blocks, five points. Dante DiVincenzo did okay. Um, he although he didn't, you know, had enough attempts to shoot or anything like that. So, four or seven from the field, three or five from three. Um, one steal, one block, 11 points. Drew Holiday um, had a, like a not that good of a shooting night himself, but I, but did have 
12 points, five assists, four steals, and two of four from three. Um, Pat Connaughton with 11 points and six rebounds. Um, ben Forrest with 13. Uh, he was two of four from three, five of eight from the field. So that's good. Shooting. But Pat Connaughton did like good shooting too, except for the three point. Um, PJ Tucker just three points, one of three. Uh, Bobby Portis did his thing with 17 points and eight rebounds. One to three from three, eight of fourteen from the field. So his mid his mid range game is doing pretty good. Um, of course, Tenassus with four points. Jeff T with only one. Jordan Nova from the bench. He played like I think he played like all the way through the fourth quarter, and he only had like thirteen points. So three or four from three, four or six from the field. So good shooting from him. Um, four point for Manati. Sam Merrill with a uh, two or two from three. So he was perfect from the line and three, three from the field. And Rollers Crocious, two points. Yeah. Just only made a shot from the free throw line, but well, that's amazing. Like the bench, like everybody from the starting lineup to the bench for the Bucks at least scored a, a point or more so although the Sixers were shorthanded but it's still a good win um they got Elena tomorrow so we will do a video on that so you get a chance um it's gonna be posted like we're gonna post this like right after the game so look out for that video um like this video if you like it um don't forget to subscribe and comment to enter in our giveaway. So if you already subscribed, that's good. Um, thank you and welcome to the channel if you're new. And comment on this video and other future videos because the more you do comment, the bigger and better chance you get to win the R Hammer Fungo Pop when we get to 150 subscribers. So the winner of so I will announce the winner of the uh, the R Hammer Fungo Pop. They will end up winning that when I do a separate video. So all you gotta do is subscribe and comment to enter. That's all you gotta do. It's that simple. But anyways, good game. Um, they gotta land tomorrow, so this should be interesting. This is very close to the playoffs. Um, mid next month. Before that, they got that play-in tournament in mid-May next month. So this would be interesting. So if the Bucks can't, if the Bucks can't get the one seed, at least like they can probably have a chance to get the two seed. So let's just hope it happens and go Bucks until the next video.